Howdy. Well, Russ here. And Chris. This is the puppy vlog. <laughs> You've all been waiting for it. We've had the puppy since the 13th of July. And what is really cool about it is we didn't know it when we picked it up. I didn't realize it until like three or four days later we got the puppy on my maternal grandmother's birthday. She was born in 1901. So that was like a special thing for me. And we got a puppy from a breeder, and it was a good breeder, and not a puppy mill. Yeah. Which is very important to us. And we were on the same page, and we we talked a lot, and actually we compromised, because I wanted a golden retriever, and he's like, nope, they're too big, and they shed. So we came together, and we picked the right breed for us, which I feel like it's important. When you pick a puppy or a dog, you should definitely pick the breed that is good for you. And we got a Havanese puppy. They do not shed. They're hypoallergenic. They're small. They're friendly to kids, to dogs, to people. To cats. And, and to cats. And they're trainable. Yeah, they were used as circus dogs. So in the future, start. you'll get to see that I taught our puppy 20 plus tricks already. So you haven't included any of those in no, here? No, oh my a gosh. video. I haven't even seen what footage he's put together for this yet. So this is going to be There's a lot of fun footage. for me to see too. Yeah, we took a lot of it. Listen, when you get a new puppy, you take a lot of footage, folks. <laughs> Our life's about to change forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting a puppy is a big responsibility. We'll have our puppy by 5 p.m. tomorrow. It's 5.36 right now. So less than 24 less hours. Less than 24 hours we have a child. Oh, by the way, it is tough to leave the house. We always get in like, like even though I kept my cool until the last minute, we still had one little bicker. We started bickering right before we left. Mm -hmm. And you just can't get your mouth. You just, you had to say something. I said, what did I say? And so I don't I said, remember because I don't chalk I it said, up. I wish it wasn't so difficult to leave this house. It always takes us so long. And then you flipped for saying that. Because we know that's the way it happens. I mean, but I said I it nicely. Did, did I, I didn't not? know. How did I say it? I was going to have to take care of business that I didn't even know I had to take care of. Yeah, he, I mean, realistically, you do <laughs> do a lot there. There's no question. We got to do something different. Got to do something different. We did make it to North Dakota. I saw this hat. Look at this. If this flag offends you, I'll help you pack. I mean, it's kind of funny. It doesn't offend me. But how many people are going to actually help somebody pack? We all know that it's hard to get your friends to help you pack, let alone some stranger, right? You want to be on camera? <laughs> this is our sleeping situation. So we have the seat folded down. We have a futon mattress right there. We have a bunch of stuff up there. And Chris slept so awesome. I mean, this is way better than the last time. Mm -hmm. We tried to sleep up there in the front. We did. Yeah, but did we actually sleep that well? But you have to take out my mouth guard so I can talk. Dude, we'll get our puppy soon. Within hours. Kind of crazy. Our life's going to change. Everything changes. He just farted in the car. It was not silent, so it won't be deadly. Um, minor silent deadly. And, and loud and deadly. That's true. It's deadly all around. Now we have the front seat pretty clear, clear enough to sit, and then we have everything back there again. Chris is liking North Dakota. For me, it's just bringing back memories, and it's more humid than you would expect. I do remember that, and I remember waking up sometimes and there'd be fog, like the North Dakota fog, and I also remember lightning storms and we got to drive in last night to North Dakota crossing the Montana border with a lightning storm, and it was really pretty. North Dakota still has like a wild feel, kind of like Montana and Wyoming. It's not too populated yet. So this is the first look at our puppy. Here he is. He's a little hot. <laughs> but he's sleepy, guys. <laughs> you are too cute. You are too cute. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, he's adorable. You are too cute. I will say that the breeders are awesome. Awesome. And they gave this puppy so much love. We got our little Havanese puppy from Whimsical Havanese. And these are the parents to our puppy. Chia and Merlin. Michelle is the breeder. She breeds these Havanese as well as Newfoundlands. Oh, yes, I know. I 
<laughs> he can't get enough. He just loves you. Hello. Can go back now? I want to back up. I like doing that. I like doing that. <laughs> What's the matter? You smell so clean. Mm -hmm. oh, but has that puppy breath. Yes. <laughs> and uh, her daughter, Nikki, who's really cool, has a blog, Chasing Departures. Check out both the website for Whimsical Havanese and also Nikki's Chasing Departures blog. We could not have picked a better location, better situation. This is perfect. <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to drive. Oh, I can't drive. I got to touch the puppy. Oh, I have to touch the little puppy. Look at him in there. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, little buddy. So you're either going to, I think you're going to be rifle. He's going to be rifle. But you were just calling him Fifle. I know because you did that, we did it for so long because we were thinking that because of being demonetized, but we're just going to have to call him rifle. We're going to have to call him rifle. He going to have to be rifle. Yeah, he has to be rifle. That's his name. His name is rifle. Yeah, his name is rifle. He's got his tongue out. This is the library in Fargo. Chris, look. That's a great shot of you guys. You little mess. Is this the first time you've heard him bark? <laughs> what is it? Oh my goodness. What are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? <laughs> oh my goodness. You got in there? Oh my goodness. Dude, he loves holes. Hopefully it's not digging holes. Hopefully it's just going in holes. Oh. Did you just try to do it again? Like, I told you that he's gonna be a circus dog. They like jumping through hoops and stuff. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't get up on me, but you can get out of a hole? I don't get it. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest ball sack in the world. That ball sack is like about 50 of my heads. There you are. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, he likes this one. That's your friend, huh? <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, you, are you wanting up on my lap with them? We got the new member of our team. Little rifle or fifle? Not sure yet. We have no idea what we're gonna call him. One of the two. He's cute. We may just have to call him both. Rifle, fifle. He looks like a mini golden retriever. Look at that. He's our mini golden. Oh, tell him about the sun. He loves the sun. Oh yeah. No, he loves the he shade. He loves to get away from the sun. <laughs> He's the kind of dog that if he sees shade, he runs to the shade. <laughs> He's a little prima donna boy. <laughs> when it comes to the heat, he does not like the heat. We are in Jamestown, North Dakota. We have probably another 10 hour drive just to get back home. See, there's a little five. Is it eight days we've had him? We got him on Tuesday at five. PM it hasn't even been a week. In North Dakota. It's been, no, you, it's been a little over a week. Oh, it's been over a week. I was going to say, yeah. dude, it's felt like months. It feels like we've had him for months. It's been seven, eight, nine, ten. It's been 11 days. 11 days we've had a baby. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love him. I got to gotta buckle in, though. Okay. Who would have thought you would have loved him so much? I knew I would, but that meant Come I had on. another duty. <laughs> another duty that we split and that but I like it it is a duty for sure but I like it just like having a baby except we don't have to pay for him to go to college thank God 
<laughs> but if we had a baby, we'd feel different, though. Yeah, we would be. And then we'd figure out, how do we pay for college? And Fival is Yiddish for light bearer. Bearer. Light bearer. Bringer of light. And he brought light to our lives. Bible goes west. That is his official name. And he did go west. He came from North Dakota. <laughs> all the crazy. way to Bozeman, Montana. And he's small and adventurous. Mm-hmm. We have like an animal posse here. We got Rocky. Bifle. A horse. A couple stray cats. Rocky. I know you. This place is one of the first places we actually explored together. Mm -hmm. I can go see some fall. This is your first substantial hike, bud. And you're kicking butt. Look at that. You're only 10 weeks old. And Chris is always good. He's picking up garbage, other people's garbage. Sit. We're on an island, an island rock. I cut his eye hair, see that? He can see, you can see buddy. Hopefully we're gonna do a video in the future where I show you all the tricks he can do. Okay, just put it up. You know you're gonna be seeing our puppy do tricks. <laughs> That's our puppy now. He's like, come on, what are you guys doing? I don't know if you heard him, but yeah, he's howled. He howled. He howled. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. We want our subscribers to go. Up, 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 up. Just like Fievel's list of tricks. Wireless. And Chris. Love, Love you long time. time. Oh yeah, Fievel has an Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, link that.